Iran's army has unveiled a state-of-the-art laser-powered air defense system during its Air Defense Forces military maneuvers in the country's western and northern areas. The equipment, named Siraj, Light, was wheeled out on Sunday as the defense forces were drilling near the country's Fordow uranium enrichment facility. The army identified the system as only one of the layers providing the site with air defense services. Observers have described the apparatus as daunting, pointing to Western states expressing surprise concerning the phenomenon. The exercises, during which the air defense forces conducted various reconnaissance, interception, confrontation, and destruction operations against mock enemy forces, featured deployment of various other defense systems too. The forces carried out airstrikes using missiles as a means of defending the strategic and sensitive areas under their jurisdiction. The drills, being monitored and directed by the Islamic Republic's Integrated Air Defense Network, fended off the mock enemy forces' offensive operations in Fordow and the nearby Qadab district. The drills, which had sought to assess the actual effectiveness of the country's air defense strategies against potential hostile invasions, wound down on Sunday after achieving their predetermined objectives. They ensured intelligence command and the capability to punctually detect invasive targets, using various sensitive active and passive radar, signal detection, optical, and surveillance systems at the air defense forces' disposal. They further assessed the operational and technical defense forces' operational prowess across realistic engagement circumstances and their commitment to passive defense principles. The drills also took place with emphasis on the rapid deployment principle. The Islamic Republic's armed forces, including the Army and the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, have been continuously enhancing their military hardware and combat readiness in line with the directives issued by leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei. The forces have vowed to defend the country's sovereignty and territorial integrity in the face of the threats that are posed by the Iranian nation's enemies. Deputy Chief of Staff of the Iranian Armed Forces Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani made the remarks on Sunday as he was speaking about the ongoing military exercises conducted by the armed forces to display their prowess in the face of threats. We have weapons that we have not spoken about so far and the enemy has no information about them. Some of these weapons may be tested during the drills, he told reporters. He added that the Iranian armed forces have constantly held drills to improve their combat power in various fields and ensure the country's defense readiness. Just as Iran monitors the enemy's moves, they also monitor the developments in the region and the Islamic Republic's military drills, Ashtiani noted. We seek to improve peace, stability and tranquility in the region. Therefore, by conducting the exercises, we demonstrate our readiness," he said. He reiterated that all the developments in the region are under the surveillance and control of the Iranian armed forces. We will counter any excessive demands, deviations and misconceptions that the enemies may have," the senior commander said. The Iranian military has launched new exercises in the country Ashtiani's remarks came on the same day that the Iranian military launched new exercises in the country's western and northern air defense zones including Fordow and Qadab which host uranium enrichment and heavy water facilities. The drills, dubbed Ektadar in Farsi, began in completely real battlefield environments, with the air defense force of the army playing a central role under the command of the country's integrated air defense network. The exercises aim to evaluate the operational effectiveness and combat readiness of Iran's air defense systems against potential enemy assaults. Earlier in January, the Islamic Revolution Guards Corps IRGC, ground force also held a large-scale and specialized drill, codenamed Payamber e Azam, Great Prophet, 19 in Iran's western province of Kermanshah, as part of attempts to raise its combat preparedness and confront potential security threats against the country.